guys, you are watching Compulsive channel and this is Anvenu. Today we will try to create another airplane in an applet and we will try to move it around. Here you can see I have imported some of the classes that I need to create an applet and I have created a class superplane which is extending the class applet and here I will declare some variables x and y which I will use in my program and then here I will create a function public void in it is a function of class applet I am overriding it over here and I will set the size of my applet here so I can set the width and the height of my applet here I will give it as 1400 and 800 that's fine now I will create one more function public void paint this is also an inbuilt already find function in the class applet and we were writing it over here and I'll create a object of graphics and then what I'm gonna do in this program is I'm gonna take an image GIF image of an aeroplane and we'll try to move it in some pattern. So uh, first thing I need to do is to get my image. So I'll use the object of class image and get the reference of my image in this so I can get that by using the function get image and there are two arguments in this function that is as you can see URL and the name of the uh, image which I'm going to use so I'll get the URL by calling a function get code base this function will return the URL of the folder in which all my class files are stored since I have stored my image in the same folder so I use this function to get that URL and here I'll give the name of the image which I'm going to use which is plane.gif that's fine so I got my image now uh, what I need to do is to I need to uh, draw this image in my applet so I'll use a function g dot draw image I guess given my image in the x and y coordinates of my image as variable x and y which I already declared up here and here I'll give it as null that's fine I'm fine now I need to move my image so if I need to move my image I need to change these values the values of x and y so here I'll increment the value of x by 3 and maybe y by just one okay so I am incrementing my value but then uh, I need some delay so that uh, the my in my plane when it's moving I can adjust the speed by using thread and putting some delay so that uh, there is a delay every time the next image is being drawn so possible so here I'll create a thread in the try block Create a try block here. I'll create a thread and make it sleep for like 30 sec milliseconds. I think that will be fine. Yeah, and here I'll call a function repaint since I need to paint it again and again. So I'll call this function repaint, which I'll call the function public void paint again and again after every 30 milliseconds. The public void paint will be called again so every time it is called the value of x will be incremented so the image will be moved every time the paint function is being called since I have created a try block and it will create a trash block catch block as well so I will create a catch block over here and you can make some exception yeah that's fine and there you go so my program is ready now let's see how it's going to move and it's turning over here yeah. and here you go your aeroplane is moving and it looks like an angry man on that so here was a simple program in which we created a simple applet with a moving aeroplane you can see I've uh, got the source of my image in this image 
object then I've drawn my image then using the repaint function I've called it again and again so that's why it's moving so thank you for watching do subscribe for more videos thank you